This is the Core Equipment 10 person straight wall cabin tent and in this video we'll be testing its ease of setup, ease of takedown, spaciousness, comfort, ventilation and more. I bought this Core 10 person tent from Amazon and here's what it looks like out of the box. Inside the package I got the stuff sack, the tent body, the rain fly, poles inside a carry bag, a gear loft, room divider, two tent floor repair patches, two clear repair patches, and 20 steel stakes. I put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. For ease of use, I looked at how easily I could put up as well as take down and pack up this core 10 person tent. I did this on my own, so one person, and also I tested this with two people as well. There are three fiberglass poles for the roof, six steel poles for the walls, eight pre-attached guy lines, and 20 stakes. To set up this core 10 person tent, first unpack the tent and insert the three fiberglass roof poles through these pole sleeves. Both the poles and sleeves are color coded. Then connect the roof poles to the pole joints. Next, attach the six steel wall poles to the pole joints and to the pin from the pin and ring system. Also attach the pole clips at the same time. Finally, place a fly on top, secure it to the six steel wall poles and then stake out the entire tent. Six stakes are for the tent body, two for the ground vent, four are for the two doors, and eight are for the guy lines. It'll take about 10 and a half to 11 minutes to do so with two people. It usually takes double the time for one person, so 21 to 22 minutes if nothing goes wrong, but honestly I found it quite difficult to get the roof to prop up properly and also I'm not tall enough to get the rain fly up on my own. Taking down the core 10 person tent and then packing it up takes about 6 to 7 minutes with 2 people and about 13 minutes on my own, excluding washing and drying of course. If you want more detailed instructions on how to set up, take down and pack up this core 10 person cabin tent, I did a full review that I will link to here. This core 10 person straight wall cabin tent has a peak height of 90 inches and the lowest height in the tent, which is at the four corners, is about 65 inches. This is slightly taller than my height, so I could stand up everywhere inside this core tent. The length of the core tent is about 13 feet and 7 inches, while the width is about 10 feet, so slightly smaller than the marketed dimensions. Also, there's no vestibule, so if you leave your shoes out, it will get wet if it rains. This core 10 person tent can accommodate 10 single sleeping pads or sleeping bags and here's what having 10 pads in this 10 person tent looks like. To accommodate 10 people in this tent, it's almost shoulder to shoulder sleeping, although there's some space down the middle for a tiny bit of camping gear. This core 10 person tent can also fit 4 queen sized camping mattresses and here's what the tent looks like with these 4 mattresses. The mattresses that I used in this video are slightly smaller than queen size so I'll put the dimensions of each mattress in this video for a better reference. These 4 mattresses take up the entire tent and there's hardly any space left over for camping gear. This core 10 person tent has 4 identical windows, each measuring about 45 inches in length by 25 and a half inches in width. This is the longest length and the longest width of each window. There's one window on each wall of the tent. Each window has two zippers which are a little bit noisy but are pretty much snag free. If there's no rain, you can unzip the windows for more ventilation and there's a bug net to prevent larger bugs from getting in. The holes are quite large, so I don't think this is no seam mesh. You can use this small latch to tie the fabric of the windows up, or you can just stuff the window fabric in here. This core 10 person tent has two doors, both are D-shaped doors, with one at the front length and the other at the back length of the tent. Each door measures about 53 by 38 inches in dimensions, although it's about 60 inches from the floor to the top of the door, so almost full sized, but I do need to duck a little when entering. Here's what the door looks like in comparison to my size. The door does have a bug net, but it's only for half the door. If there are no bugs though, I like to unzip the entire door and leave it open by rolling it up and clipping it to the side, right here, like this. The door has two zippers for the bug net and two for the door itself. The door can be zipped up from both the outside and the inside. The door zipper would sometimes snag from the outside because of this rain cover, but it usually doesn't snag from the inside. This core 10 person tent comes with a room divider so you can split the tent into two rooms. Each room can fit two queen sized beds and each room will also have its own door along with two windows. 
the divider has a zip in the middle so you can access either room and you can also pull back the sides of the divider for easier access. You can also fit just one or two queen size beds in one room and use the other as a living room or something like that. The divider is not completely opaque and you can actually see quite a bit through the divider, but it does cover almost the full length of the tent except maybe a little gap at the bottom. There's only two pockets in the entire tent, measuring 10 by 19 inches for the bigger one and 14 and a half by 7 inches for the smaller one. It also comes with a gear loft for more storage space, but it's not the biggest and I'm not tall enough to attach it without some help. But if you're slightly taller, you should be able to attach it no problem. The gear loft comes with a loop in the middle of the loft so that you can hang the divider at the same time as the gear loft. There's also one lantern loop at the very top of the tent for some lighting at night. I can't reach this either, but you should be fine if you're a little taller. This core tent also has one e-port at the middle of the tent with a velcro closure. There's no dark room technology though, and it's quite bright throughout the day, but I really like the colors of this core 10 person tent. It also looks quite nice at night. For ventilation, this core 10 person tent has a lot of mesh on the roof of the tent. The rain fly is removable from the outside and you can stargaze when it's not raining. I really enjoy lying down in the tent and watching it turn dark during sunset. Apart from the roof though, I would say that there's not a lot of mesh from the four windows and two doors because they're not very big. There are no roof vents, but there are two ground vents for additional ventilation. When it's raining, air can flow in through the two ground vents and be pushed out through the ceiling mesh. But apart from this, there's not a lot of ventilation. All the windows and doors have to be closed because otherwise the rain would drip right into the tent. As you can see here, when it's raining, quite a bit of rain will drip onto the mesh, so it's best to keep the windows fully closed, especially in moderate to heavy rain. So thankfully, at least there are two ground vents for some ventilation. For weather resistance, I looked at rain and wind protection. It did not rain while I was using this tent, so I had to make do with a water hose and it looked like this. I think I'll consider this to be somewhat moderate rainfall. I did this for an hour and concentrated the rainfall on this particular wall of the tent. After about 55 minutes of this kind of rainfall, I noticed a little bit of leaking through the seam here which connects the orange part of the main body of the tent to the flooring because it hasn't been seam taped or sealed. At this timing, I also noticed that the orange fabric near the ground vent felt a little bit damp. For more info on this, you can check out the full rain test video on my channel. I don't think this core 10 person straight wall tent will do very well against strong winds. This is a cabin tent with almost vertical sidewalls, so the shape isn't aerodynamic at all. The pole structure is very simple, there are only 8 guy lengths in total, and your stakes are not your super high quality stakes. For quality, I looked at the flooring, tent body, stitching, zippers, mesh, poles, stakes, guy lengths, and carry bag. The flooring is made of polyethylene and doesn't have a bathtub feature. The material of the tent is made of 68D polyester and I found a bunch of loose threads on the floor when I first got into the tent and excess materials on some parts. There are some pretty large holes where the guy lines are stitched to the main tent body but at least they have been seam taped. I also found a few excess threads as well. The zippers worked fine for the windows but snagged occasionally on the door. There was also quite a bit of leaking through both the zippers and the zip of one particular door in moderate rain. The mesh looks decent quality but the holes are pretty big and don't feel really smooth and silky so I'm pretty sure that it's not noceum mesh though it'll keep the bigger bugs out. The three roof poles are made of fiberglass which are a bit more flexible. I wouldn't recommend putting this 10 person tent up on your own though because it's quite difficult to get the roof to prop up by yourself. Sometimes I worry that these fiberglass poles will break because they're not that sturdy. The six wall poles were made of steel but one of the steel poles came with a slight chip so I had to file it down to put the pole together. The 20 steel stakes that came with your tent are just your regular tent stakes. I had no issues with the guidelines though it would be nice if they were reflective at night. They don't seem to be. The carry bag is made of 210D polyester and feels to be good quality. It was pretty easy getting the tent poles and all other accessories back into the carry bag. This core 10 person tent has a packed size of 29 by 16 by 12 inches. 
For a size comparison, here's what it looks like beside a Coleman two-person sundome tent as well as a 32-ounce Nalgene bottle and it weighs about 30 and a half pounds for everything. For pros, I found the core tent to be super spacious. It has an impressive peak height of 90 inches, although this means that if you're not tall like me, you won't be able to install the gear loft or put a lantern up without some help. Of all my other 10-person tents, this core tent has the highest peak height. I also tested it through one hour of light rain and this core tent did well with no leaks at all. Plus it has really nice vibrant colors which look great not only in the day but also at night. Definitely one of my nicer looking tents for sure. As for cons, I didn't like that I could see quite a bit through the divider and there's hardly any privacy even with the divider up. Also, I wish they made the windows a little bit bigger for more ventilation during hot days. Right now, they're not small but not big either. Overall, I feel that this core 10 person tent is a pretty decent tent. It did spectacularly in terms of spaciousness and did average in the rest of my tests like ease of use, comfort, features, ventilation, rain protection, and quality. I think it'll be a great tent for you if you love the spaciousness, peak height, and the colors of this core tent. How does this core 10-person cabin tent compare to other similar tents though? Well, don't worry because I've already done a comparison for you in these videos. I'll put them up when you're ready, so do check those out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.